This will show you how to test a woofer with a 9 volt battery. If the terminals of the speaker are close enough together, then you can go ahead and touch the uh, battery right to the terminals. In this case, they're a little far apart, so I've come up with this contraption here. This is a simple 9 volt battery clip that came from Radio Shack. You buy in a package of five, I think, or you could rob it out of an old electronic game of some sort and attach the alligator clip to one end and it hooked it up to the negative and then you want to just briefly touch the positive wire to the positive terminal. Um, when you do that, applying positive voltage to the positive terminal will cause, in most cases, cause the woofer to move outwards. As you can see there. Now in some of the older JBL woofers, when applying positive voltage to the positive terminal, the cone will actually move inwards. Uh, this was very confusing for a long time in the pro audio world. I really don't know why JBL did that. They don't do it anymore, which actually kind of adds more confusion in an odd way. Uh, but in that case, it's basically a simple reverse polarity, and if you touched it, touch the positive wire to the positive on the older JBLs, it would move inwards as in this demonstration. Now this is also helpful on some uh, lower quality aftermarket recone kits. Uh, sometimes the voice calls will be round in reverse, which is going to give you reverse polarity again, which you only want in a very few of the older JBL speakers. Uh, so you can go ahead and test the polarity of your speakers and um, make sure that the polarity is correct. We do not recommend this for tweeters. Uh, you cannot see the tweeter move since it's all enclosed. Uh, you can't see the diaphragm move since it's all enclosed within the tweeter. And the wires on those tweeters are very, very, very thin. And there's a good chance that you will blow that diaphragm by doing a 9 volt battery trick. So, anyway. There you go, a real simple way to test the polarity and test to see if your woofer is actually working.